This is example 3 on permutations and combinations. And it says, in how many ways can two ice cream flavors be chosen from 27 available flavors? Okay, and before you start trying to figure out how to do this, you have to determine if this is a permutation or a combination so that you can make your calculations. And I always say, put yourself in this situation. So let's place ourselves inside a, an ice cream parlor. And you go in, and they have 27 flavors to choose from. You're open-minded. You'll eat anything. So you ask the server. You tell them, um, I want two scoops. And give me whatever two flavors you want. And the person that's serving you gives you an ice cream cone with a vanilla scoop and he also serves you a chocolate scoop. So there's your ice cream cone with the two scoops, two different flavors. You buy it, you eat it, next day you walk in and there's another server and you tell the person you know I came in yesterday I had two of the flavors I liked it I want you to choose two flavors for me and whatever you do I'm gonna buy it and now this server will give you a chocolate scoop and a vanilla scoop and he serves you more than yesterday's server. So now you say, oh, this is the same exact cone I had yesterday, the exact same two flavors. So is this a different situation than yesterday's? It's not. You randomly were given the same two flavors twice. So this tells me that when this happens, even though the scoops are in different order here, in this case, order doesn't matter. What matters is you got the same two flavors twice. So these two events for me are identical events. I got the same cone I got yesterday because I got the same two flavors. So since the order here didn't matter, this is a combination. Okay? So how do I choose two ice cream flavors from an available 27 flavors? Well, this is a combination. It's 27C2. And that means 27 factorial over 27 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. And you can figure this out with your calculator. And if you don't, then this would be 27 factorial over 25 factorial times 2 factorial. And then this is 27 times 26 times 25 times 24, etc. And I'm writing etc. because I know I can cancel out with 25 factorial, which is 25 times 24 times 23. So I know I can cancel all of that out with all of that. And then times 2 times 1 from the 2 factorial. So that becomes 27 times 26 over 2, which is the same thing as 27 times 13. And you can do that with your calculator, okay?